Welcome to the Swedish Cancer Institute. This video is about genetic counseling services available for patients here at Swedish. We will discuss what to expect from a genetic counseling session and answer some of the most frequently asked questions about testing. Genetic testing involves a blood or saliva test that shows inherited changes in genes related to cancer. Genetic testing can help people figure out if they are at higher risk of developing certain cancers, or if you already have cancer, determine the chance of developing a second new cancer. The results can also help determine the hereditary cancer risk faced by children, siblings, and other relatives. Genetic testing is available for hereditary forms of breast, ovarian, and colon cancers, as well as for some other cancers. The list of other cancers continues to grow and change. Many cancer genes increase the risk for developing multiple different kinds of cancer. While many patients are interested in genetic testing, they do not know if they are a good candidate to undergo testing. Based on your family and medical history, a genetic counselor will help determine which test, if any, is right for you. Our genetic counselors are all board certified by the American Board of Genetic Counseling. They are Swedish employees and contractors and are not affiliated with any testing laboratory. Many people ask about the cost of genetic counseling and testing and insurance coverage. The consultation and test are billed separately. The consultation typically costs under $200. Many, but not all, insurers cover the consultation. Currently, genetic counseling is not covered by Medicare. You should check with your insurer to see if our genetic counselors are covered under your plan. For patients who pay out of pocket, we offer cash discounts. The cost of genetic testing can range from a few hundred to a few thousand dollars and varies with which test is performed. Most insurance companies, including Medicare, cover the test. The labs we work with will determine insurance coverage for you once they receive your specimen, but before any tests are run, and will contact you if the insurance does not cover the test. Before your appointment, you should learn as much information as possible about both sides of your family, especially your children, siblings, nieces, nephews, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. Important information to try and collect is their current age or age of death, and general health status. If a relative has had cancer, it's important to learn what kind of cancer they had. For example, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, colon cancer, and the age of diagnosis. It is also very helpful to know if the cancer started in that organ or spread from somewhere else in the body. Of course, we recognize that it is not always possible to collect all this information on many of your relatives. Just gather as much information as you reasonably can, and we will work with whatever you can provide us. Prior to your appointment, you will receive an emailed questionnaire about your personal and family health history. We strongly encourage you to complete this before your appointment with a genetic counselor. This will help you and your genetic counselor have the most productive discussion about cancer risks. The appointment usually lasts about an hour. Relatives and friends are welcome to attend and often provide helpful support or family health information. We will address some very personal medical matters, so be sure you are comfortable discussing this information in front of whoever comes with you. The genetic counselor will discuss how genetic testing may affect your medical care and explore the implications of your test results to your entire family. There will be time to address any questions you may have. You are welcome to take notes or record the session. You can choose to undergo testing the same day as your consultation or at a later date if you wish to think more about testing or discuss it with your family or healthcare provider. It takes about two to three weeks to get your results. Fortunately, the error rate of a positive genetic test is very, very low. Sometimes, however, the laboratory detects a change in a gene that has not been recorded in many other families. These are called variants of uncertain significance. These findings are common and generally not used in making decisions about your medical care. The labs we work with will follow up on these uncertain results and will alert us if the variant is reclassified in the future. In addition, new genetic tests are likely to become available in the future, so families that test negative or uncertain by today's test may test positive if new tests are developed in the future. One of the main concerns patients have about genetic testing is that they will get dropped from their insurance or denied. Fortunately, a federal law, the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2008, or GINA, prohibits health insurers from using genetic information to decide if they will cover you initially, continue to cover you, 
or how much they will charge you. This law applies to individuals and group policies and covers you if you switch health plans. This law does not, however, provide protection for discrimination by life insurance, disability insurance, or long-term care insurance. Those in the military are covered under Regina, though the military does have its own guidelines about this. Genetic testing can have emotional effects that vary from person to person. Many find their genetic test results empowering and help them understand why they've developed cancer, what they can do to prevent another cancer, and how cancer may affect their family. However, patients may find it overwhelming to discuss the implications of genetic testing for their health and the health of their families. You should make sure that you are emotionally ready to explore these issues before you have genetic testing done. Genetic testing can be an important and rewarding experience. If you wish to schedule an appointment or have questions about an upcoming appointment, call 206-215-4377. We offer in-person appointments at multiple locations across the greater Seattle area, as well as virtual visits.